It's Amanda from MySewAlot and I'm here today with my new video which is a bit of an exciting one. I've only got a couple of things to show you today. I am planning to do another video, hopefully I'm going to film it tomorrow so it might be up next week with my recent makes because I've made quite a few patterns that I haven't made before and today I'm going to show you two patterns again that I haven't made before which are both from fabrics from Pin and Sew. If you've been following me for a while then you know I've been quite involved with Pin and Sew. I write for the blog, I've done a couple of YouTube videos all about Pin and Sew which is a fabric boutique specialising, an online fabric boutique specialising in knit fabrics and she's got every kind of knit that you would need. So today because this video is sponsored by Pin and Sew, the fabrics that I've been sent have been gifted to me to do this video. I also have a discount code for you. So if you fancy grabbing yourself a bargain, you can get 20% off everything on the store, which includes ribbing and every patterns, everything, 20% off, and you can use the code, which is I sew a lot 20. I'm gonna put it down here as well. And I'm also going to check um, sorry, I'm also going to mention it at the end of the video just to remind you, just in case you forget. So, the first thing that I want to show you is hot off the sewing machine. I've only just finished it. And it is the Maven Patterns Somerset Top. And as I've said in previous videos, I've not really been into this trend of sleeves with really lots of volume. And um, I was adamant that I didn't really like that kind of sleeve until I saw the Somerset Top from Maven Patterns. I'll stand up and I'll show you it. As you can see, it does have volume in the sleeves. Um, actually, I'll untuck it so you can also see what kind of length it is. It's a good length. I'm five foot eight, and I do have a reasonably short torso, so um, you might want to check the measurements of the length uh, before you sew it. But as you can see, it has got a nice amount of volume in the sleeve, but not too much. It's got these really lovely cuffs, and they're conical shaped cuffs, so they're wider further up than they are at the wrist. And yes, it's got this lovely gathering here. It's got a really nice uh, boat neckline. And it's got this really lovely feature of the top stitching. We also top stitch the shoulders. I can't remember what size I made, but I'll put it here. And my measurements are bust 33 inches, waist. 26 inches and hip 36 and a half inches um, and as you can see I've got a slight bit of extra extra volume here under the arm and also the neckline is slightly big as you can see it stands away from my um, shoulders slightly and the shoulders just slightly too wide for me so if I was going to make it again I would size down I've got quite long arms and I would actually probably add about an inch, three quarters of an inch to the sleeves because they are slightly too short for me as well. But this fabric is a really lovely cotton jersey. It's got spandex content as well, so it's got really good recovery in this lovely rust colour. Um, from recollection on her site, Aga actually has this similar... Um, fibre content jersey in quite a few different colours but I really liked the rust I think it goes with my hair and my complexion I think it's a colour that quite suits me although I have today had my hair dyed so it is slightly darker than it usually is so mm, doesn't go quite as well as it normally would but anyway I'm really in love with this top I think I'll definitely make it again it also comes with an option for long sleeve just a normal standard sleeve and also a three-quarter length sleeve. I don't think it's got a t-shirt length sleeve, but I could be wrong. But it's definitely got long sleeve and three-quarter length. Um, and it also has a shorter cuff. If you don't like the drama of the length of this cuff, it comes with a shorter cuff as well. Um, I really like the neckline detail. I think it is a much better finish than I've made the Sew Over It Eddie Top, Edie Top, which... Um, has a similar shape neckline but firstly the neckline is too wide for my shoulders and secondly 
I don't like the finish, the way it's just turned under and stitched relatively close to the edge because mine tends to turn out a little bit. I have to make sure I press it really well before I wear it. And with a knit t-shirt, you don't really want to be pressing it every time you're gonna wear it. Well, I don't anyway. So yes, I'm really happy with this. The fabric is gorgeous, got a really lovely recovery, really nice and soft. Would be perfect for any kind of top that you wanted to make. But I think you could also use it to make dresses as well because it has got a really nice weight to it and it would cover all your lumps and bumps. So yes, really pleased with it. So I've got another thing to show you. So I'm gonna get changed. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the next thing that I've got to show you is also made from a cotton jersey. So it's exactly the same weight as the Maven top and it's black, got a black background obviously, and it's got these white sort of, what do you call them, sort of paint splatters all over it. I really like it, I think it's really pretty. And I have made the Sew Over It Georgie dress. So I'll get up and show you. I'm really, really happy with it. It's got a, I think it's a three quarter circle skirt. I can't actually remember. But yes, I really like it with my red belt because I think that gives it something special. It's got this crossover top, which has got some pleats, pleating here. Uh, I went with the three quarter length sleeves. The bodice is actually fully lined um, and I just use the self fabric. I really like the way um, it gives you a good coverage and when you sew it, you actually sew um, clear elastic um, all around the neckline and I really like that. I think it gives a really nice finish because there's nothing worse than wearing a wrap dress. Well, obviously this is a faux wrap dress, but wearing a wrap dress and feeling like you're having to adjust it all the time because you're going to be exposing yourself to everybody. So, um, yes, it's a really nice pattern to sew. It's got an elasticated waist. I just use standard elastic in my waist. And like I say, I use clear elastic for the neckline, which I have to admit, I was kind of dreading because I have used clear elastic before without success, but I used um, the prim clear elastic and it was much better quality and much easier to handle than the clear elastic I'd tried in the past and it gave a really nice finish so I didn't really have any trouble with that. The one thing I did have trouble with is when I had assembled my bodice, I'd put my sleeves in and my bodice was complete. I'd prepared my skirt as well and I was just about to attach the two together and in the instructions it tells you to tack your bodice together because you've got all your layers to tack it all together to assist with getting it to line up with the skirt properly. Well I thought I don't need to do that, that's fine, I can just stitch it on, it's no big deal. So when I, and I stitched it on and then I put my elastic on and then I overlocked it and thought okay, because I tried the bodice on already and the bodice fitted fine and um, I went to try it on and I had actually sewn half of the wrap to the back and half to the front so I couldn't get it on so I had to I didn't unpick it actually I trimmed it which is a trick that I'd learnt somewhere else I trimmed all the overlocking down and then you can generally just pull it apart um, but I did have to re-sew the elastic and re-overlock it but it was fine but when it tells you to tack it together I would suggest that you do follow that step instead of being clever like I did and I was, and try and wing it because you can end up with a mistake like that. So anyway, it's a relatively simple sew. I also took, I think, two inches or two and a half inches off the length because I'm not really a midi fan. So this finishes, I would say, probably about, oh, I don't know if you can actually see, but it's about an inch and a half, two inches above my knees which is that's fine for me i'm quite happy with the length um but when i made it originally i wasn't so keen on the length it was made it look a little bit frumpy on me so i trimmed it down i was a bit worried about the circle skirt because i do think sometimes that can accentuate the hips but because it's only a three-quarter circle skirt instead of a full circle skirt i don't think that that happens 
I think it's really nice. I think it's quite flattering. It's obviously got the spinny skirt. But yes, and the fabric was perfect for this. Um, it also has a gathered skirt option, which you would obviously need to use a lighter weight jersey for. I don't think necessarily a cotton jersey like I've used would work particularly well. You probably want something that's more like a viscose jersey, because otherwise, I always think with gathered skirts, if you don't use a viscose jersey, you have quite a lot of bulk around here, and nobody really wants extra bulk around here. So I think a viscose jersey would work better for that, and I think that's what the pattern recommends. And this version, which obviously doesn't have the gathered skirt, you can also use heavier weight fabrics like a Pontaroma, double knits, um, anything like that. But it does tell you to use a lighter weight jersey for the lining. Because mine was relatively lightweight anyway, I just went for the self fabric for the lining. And it's worked out really well. I didn't do anything special. I made a standard size 8, which is what I always make in Sorova It patterns. I'm just trying to think. Did I take it in slightly? Uh, I think I did. I think I, when I put it on, I think I had quite a lot of fabric here. So, yes, I did. I had quite a lot of fabric here. So I just went from sort of halfway down the arm and I just skimmed it in slightly, about half an inch, just to finish around about where the where the bodices start to wrap that's where I took it into because the waist fitted fine so yes I did take it in slightly I do really like the fit now I think it's really comfortable it is like wearing secret pajamas and I think you can make it in so many different fabrics and it would give you a different look every time so yes those are my two makes from pin and sew and one thing I did want to say to you hang on let me just grab it with the maven pattern, one major thing that I forgot to mention when you're making this top, if you're thinking about making this top, is that to create the gathering around the sleeve, to get all of the volume of fabric into that sleeve cuff, you actually do two rows of shearing. Well, I hadn't ever um, had to do shearing before, and the instructions are really, really good on the pattern. They tell you how to do it completely. I also watched a YouTube video I think the, um, it was the Stitch Sisters video on how to do shearing that I watched and it's relatively simple, you just put your elastic in the bobbin, use normal thread on the top. I didn't have to mess around with my tension or anything, I just used the longest stitch length that I had on my machine and it worked perfectly fine. And to be honest, I think it gives a much neater gather um, with your fabric being a lot more evenly spaced, the gathers being a lot more evenly spaced around the cuff, so I think that's a really good tip. And on the neckline, I can show you slightly closer. So it is twin needled around there. So as you can see, you fold it down, it's got a nice deep inch neckline, you fold it down, top stitch it, and then you sew the shoulders together, top stitch those, and then put your sleeve in. It's a really nice finish. I'm really pleased with that and I think I'll definitely make another one. I think it gives a really neat finish. So yes, those are my two makes. If you want to have a look on the Pin and Sew website, the code that you need to get your lovely discount is ISOALOT20. Again, I'm going to put it on the screen. And yes, hopefully I'll be back with a new video next week. I'm planning to record it, like I said, get it uploaded. I've been having a few te technical difficulties with my laptop because the memory on it is rubbish and to do video editing takes quite a lot of memory so that's kind of put me off filming vlogs a little bit. As you know I've also had quite a lot of live stuff going on. Just to give you a bit of an update, I in November left at the end of November, so right before Christmas, a bit of a stupid time to do it, but I left my job that I had been in for about 17 years, I think. I left my job and decided that it wasn't for me anymore. And I started a new job at a new firm, in uh, which is still in the same city, Canterbury. And yes, I've been there since the end of November. I'm really enjoying it. It's going in the right direction. They seem to feel like they enjoy having me around so that's always a good thing especially because it is a slight change from what I was doing before 
Um, everything has still been being processed with regards to my mum, who I sadly lost uh, last year, in the middle of last year. We recently had the inquest, that was last week, so that was all really rubbish. And the house is all being dealt with and being sold and everything. So yeah, had quite a lot going on. I would show you Yoko, but I think she's downstairs having a nap. But she's got really massive as well, and that's my new Bengal, Bengal cat. So yeah, a bit of a life update. Busy, busy, busy. So anyway, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon.